Okay, we're back. <clears throat> I've uh, turned the game volume down a little bit. We'll see if that works out better. See how I feel about it when the video is done. But here we are, back in the Violet Gym. Um, we survived Tristan's Machamp. Most of us did, anyway. Not everyone. And it's time to get going on our next uh, gym challenge. Through the dollar sign and out. Quick little phone call. Professor Elm's gonna give us the egg. I'm actually really excited for this egg. I don't know why, I guess because it's such a unique encounter. I'm just really curious about what it's gonna be. But, we got some housekeeping to do. Starting with a trip to the Pokemon Center. And it's not all fun and games in here. Because we do have to say goodbye to a couple of team members. We barely knew them, but they gave their lives for the cause. And we have to respect that, you know? So squish. Goodbye. And Misty. Goodbye. But now we can heal everyone else, and we have a couple of new spots to fill. Uh, one of them with the egg, and we'll see what else we get. Take a quick look at the team. We've got... First of all, we're gonna move this guy... Back to the lead spot, I think. We got him some experience. So, we've got... Riddles the Magby. Our, uh... Very helpful answer to ground types. Or, grass types, excuse me. We got Spines the Rhyhorn. Definitely the MVP so far, as... Some of these early game randomized Pokemon just can't handle... A bulky rock and ground type. And we taught him Mud Slap at the end of last episode. So we can cheese opponents now. We got our starter, Pew 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 the Remoraid. Still just knowing Water Gun. And we have Scramble, the Execute. One that we haven't trained much because, I mean, it, she relies on Barrage for damage. But she was the first Pokemon we caught after our starter, and uh, she was pretty useful against that Nightmare Machamp last episode. So maybe, you know, maybe we'll uh, find some more use for Scramble yet. But now let's see about this egg. Long time no see. Absolutely I'll take it. Alright, has to be with other active Pokemon. Keep it in my party, I certainly will. We want to make a stop at the Mart too, because we only get one encounter in the Ruins of Alf, and we only get one encounter in Union Cave, so if I can buy repels now, that'll be nice. Let's see. Um, might want some Pokeballs too. I don't remember how many I have. I cannot buy Repels, so I'll just buy Pokeballs. I'll buy like 10 of those again. Alright. If that's overkill, well, too bad. But we're gonna want to catch a lot of stuff. And, even though I said south of Violet City, last episode, we actually are going to get our next encounter in the Ruins of Alf, because they're right here. And this is another one that I'm sort of curious about. You know, Unknown is such a weird Pokemon, unlocked in such a weird way. It's just... I'm, I, I, I've got a little extra bit of curiosity about what's going to replace it. Hopefully I don't embarrass myself on this puzzle first. I mostly remember the Ruins of Alf puzzles, but... There might be a couple things that take me a little bit of trial and error. Let's see. This one goes... Here. Um, it's the, uh, it's the bottom middle two that I get mixed up on this puzzle. But we'll see. Uh, everything else is pretty straightforward. The you just follow the shape of the shell, plus the corners are given to you. And you can see how the legs fit together. Yeah, these last two pieces I often put backwards. This looks good, though. Yep, we did it. First try. And, 
I think you'll find that completing that puzzle has woken up something that was dormant in these ruins for a long time. A strange presence. What could it possibly be? Let's see. It's... Parasect. Just as I expected. Hidden in plain sight. Uh, does it have leech life? It probably does. I can see if it takes a water gun. Or I could mud slap it. Lower its accuracy plus it's double resisted. But honestly, I don't want to parasect that badly. If it doesn't take a water gun, that's absolutely fine. That was a crit. Okay, so we're good. We'll go heal off that paralysis before we head south. Alpera, Scratch. Maybe it doesn't know Leech Life. We're just trading crits back and forth. What a high-stakes battle here. Um... Okay. Let's see. I could use another water gun. It probably takes that. But no need. What am I going to name this thing? The larger the mushroom on its back grows, the stronger the mushroom spores it scatters. Alright, um... I don't know what to name this. Uh... I'm going to go back to nicknaming like a ten-year-old. Mush. And Mush here knows... Probably Scratch and Stun Spore. Oh, and Poison Powder. Okay. That could be useful. I don't know how much I want to train it, though. And since we don't have any repels, we get to run into more. <coughs> That's okay. Actually, this is free experience for Riddles, isn't it? Yeah, gone. I feel like I talked about this in a video before, but as a kid, I totally bought that there was some great secret to the ruins of Alf, and if I did just the right thing, I was going to find it. I mean, it was the time of schoolyard rumors about, like, using cut or dig or whatever in just the right place, to unlock a great secret that wasn't in any guidebook, a, po <clears throat> a poke god or Mew under the truck or whatever. Um... And so I completely believed that there was a secret to the ruins of Alf. I caught every form of unknown. I think. At least I tried to. Um, and then of course in Crystal they added those other rooms with messages on the walls. And even those still didn't amount to much. And I was so sure that there was something I just couldn't find, but nope. Kinda silly in the end. The ruins of Alf. I mean, I appreciate them for capturing my imagination as a kid, and unknown is... Obviously a weird Pokemon concept, but I appreciate it for what it is. It's cool that it exists in this world, but a little bit of a letdown in the end, if we're being honest. Anyway, I guess not everything needs some special secret hidden deep inside. Anyway, we're about to get a new encounter, and we are at a full party right now, so it's going to be interesting to see what this is. find out, it's another Tentacruel. Well, I don't do dupes, Claws. We can have another Tentacruel. I don't think you have a water attack, so I'm just going to Ember you. Uh, I don't know if I want to add this to the party, though. Maybe I'll think about it when we get to the Pokemon Center south of here. Nice crit Ember. Burn. Okay. That's going to do no damage, and then we'll catch it for sure. Yep. The last Tentacruel was named Squish, so... Wow, that did not get ca- that, that was not a capture. What, I think we get two more shots before the burn knocks it out? 
let's see. Wow. Let's see if it takes the burn damage. It does not, so we fail our encounter on this route. But honestly, I'm okay with that. I was, wasn't excited about another tentacruel. Let's see what this guy's got. Um, what are youngsters in this randomizer? Are they, uh, doctors or something? Or gym leaders doctors? Developer, Marilyn. Right. Oh, okay, well... This just got real in a hurry. Except, I don't think this has anything for Rhyhorn. So, not the scariest legendary we've already run into. But man, you walk around this Johto region, youngsters are just, uh, tossing Zapdos right out at you. Red wasn't ready. No wonder he's hiding on a mountain. But okay, that's actually pretty easy to deal with. I think he has one other Pokemon. Riddles levels up, nice. Electabuzz. Alright, this guy's gonna give a Lieutenant Surge a run for his money. If he gets over there. Don't know that that guy has a Zapdos. Although it's a randomizer, so hey, we'll find out eventually. But now we get to use our new Mud Slap. Don't cause a miss yet, but that's fine. Mud Slap Rhyhorn. Let me tell you, that's something I never imagined I'd be using. But I think it's gonna come in handy for a while here. Alright, and that's Developer Marilyn taken care of. I think I might want to move Pew 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 to the front. Yeah, try to keep their levels pretty even. Um, I think there's an item down this way. No repel, so we'll get chances to see what our encounter could have been. Well, not much is jumping out of the grass so far. Let's fight Picnic or Liz. I remember this trainer. She's she wants to I wanna battle her when she's on the phone? Crazy. She's a female Nidoran uh, in the base game, but let's see what she has here. The Nidoran isn't bad, but how does it measure up? Okay, she's a gentleman, sure. How does it measure up to? Miltank! Wow. Not bad. It's no Whitney's Miltank, I'm sure. But obviously a strong Pokémon for this early. If it can attack, it probably has Tackle or something, right? But it's used Growl and Defense Curl so far. And Water Gun is four-shotting. So it's gonna have one more chance to attack us after this, unless we crit. So this Remarade's Sniper build- oh, that might actually be a five-shot. Tackle does a lot of damage, actually. But we should be good here. Yeah, we got it. Okay. That's a lot of experience, too. And we got Lock On, which is not useful with Water Gun, for the most part. But maybe with something like Octazooka later. Um, and I will put Riddles right back in front. It's not too annoying that I keep swapping them around when their levels are close. Uh, we'll go this way and then we'll double back to the bridge. Looks like our encounter could have been... Oh, another tentacruel. There, must, there, there definitely is other stuff here. Because there are like, Wooper and Mareep and stuff on this route in the base game, and I believe I did one-to-one -one randomize her. Dancer Max. Sent out Mr. Mime. Between these guys and the Jinx at the, uh, at the gym, there are all kinds of weird Pokemon popping up already. I love it. And that thing's bulky for early game. This could be a threat. Oh, that could be a threat. Okay, I think we take one more. And then I don't know what we do after that. Maybe we already sack Mush. That's not even a 4-hit KO with Ember. 
I didn't know- okay, I did not know this was gonna be so rough. I don't trust Rhyhorn to just switch in on it. Scramble could switch in. I'm actually down to try that. I think that's the path where potentially everyone survives. The scramble should take the confusion reasonably well, right? Uh, not as well as I hoped. Let's have some hypnosis luck, please. It has barrier! Uh, so we're gonna want to hit it with special attacks, but that means water gun or ember. Or we could try to fish for a crit with barrage, but no, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go pew 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 and go for water gun. And hope for the best. If we lose our starter, well, that's on me. Two sleep turns already, because it's faster than a remoraid. Big damage? Sniper crit? Pretty small damage. But, they can sleep for a long time in this game. We've seen it before. That much amp actually was sleeping awkwardly long, like past the point where I wanted it to wake up. Oh, and we go first this turn. And we beat the Mr. Mime. That was kind of scary. Oh. That was his only Pokemon. Alright. That's a randomizer, man. Anything could pop out at you. Let's go get this item. I think it's a Pokeball or a Great Ball. Yeah, a Great Ball. Nice. And will it be another Tentacruel? Yep. That's quite the encounter luck. This is Silver version, so there can be Ekans here in the base game, too. But we're just running into nothing but Tentacruel. Um, I think I'll try to skip this trainer and come back after I've healed. This guy's gonna sell us a Slowpoke Tail. Right? Yeah, of course, I'll give you a million bucks for it. Oops, I'm not rich enough. He thought kids these days were loaded. He thought we were walking around with a million in our pockets. I don't know what that guy is thinking. I guess that's why he's a low-level Slowpoke Tail hustler. Anyway, we'll get the old rod. We can use that somewhere, sometime. Actually, we could even double back to Cherry Grove City, or... Um... I think there's water in Violet City. I don't know, I'll think about that. Maybe I want to do that with a better rod. But for now... Or maybe I'll wait until I get fly. For now, let's fight this guy. The good rod is in Olivine City, I think, right? Oh my god! Now that's what I'm talking about. How often do you just see a Celebi pop up when you're playing through Silver? What a strong route. These trainers are really something. Um... What was I saying? I can get the good rod in Olivine City and then fly back to places like Cherry Grove and Violet and get fishing encounters there, unless I get desperate earlier. Alright, I think one more ember will KO. Guess not. And it has recover. Well, maybe we can burn it. Burn would be nice. Of course, I could just heal bell that off. Man. Oh, it also knows Confusion. Okay. So we should be able to finish it off now. Goodbye, Celebi. I would very much like to catch one of your kind in this playthrough, but we'll see. It's all up to the randomizer. For now, let's go fight some fishermen. We all set for a bunch of water types with Magby in the front of my party? Fishermen are gonna have water types, right? That's how they go. But I guess a ranger could have anything. Like a Zapdos! <laughs> Alright! Legendary Pokémon, so rare people think there might only be one in the world, and we fought two on this route. At least it's an easy matchup. Yep. This one can take some hits, but 
Can't really do anything back to Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn has been such a good pickup so far in this playthrough. I guess very like Geodude in the base game, even though we're not fighting type specialist gyms here and Rhyhorn doesn't get a rock attack. But it's filling some of the same role. And looking cool in the process. <laughs> Alright, gonna swap Pew 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 back to the front, I think. Clearly these are our main three, as I still don't know what to do with Scramble right now. And I'm not really very motivated to do anything with Mush. We got two more fishermen to fight. One of these guys... I think this guy's a Magikarp fisherman. I think the other guy has some Poliwag that spam Hypnosis in the base game, so he can be kind of annoying to deal with. But not this time. First we gotta get past this Diglett, so I made a good swap there, didn't I? Goodbye, Diglett. Nido Queen. Cool. Takes a lot of damage from Water Gun, though. All right. I'm actually gonna leave Remoraid in front for now. I don't want to be swapping too much. It just uh, drags things out, doesn't it? If it levels up again, I'll swap one of the other guys in. Oh, my mom stole my money. Let's see. I can get it from the PC, right? We'll find out what it is in a sec. But first, I think this is the guy with the hypnosis spam. But not this time. Unless he has his own execute or something. What do you got, Ranger Wayne? Electabuzz. That's also the second Electabuzz we've seen down here. Let's go spines. Mud slap it. It knows Thunder Punch at level 5? Wow. Imagine if we'd gotten a full on Magmar instead of a Mag B. Maybe it would know Fire Punch already. Not that I'm unhappy with my guy Riddles. My girl Riddles? I think Riddles is female. Anyway, we've got a Sand True. This doesn't have a ground attack at level 5. Nice bluff. Yeah. It could have Poison Sting. I don't know if it gets that this early, but even then, that's double resisted. We have plenty of time to get to the Pokemon Center. Still haven't yet forced anything to mess with Mudslap, but that time is coming, no doubt. Anyway, what else has this guy got? We learned Stomp. Nice. Don't try to minimize against us. Another Mr. Mime. Oh my god. Um, I'm gonna go for... Oh, it's level 15 too. I'm gonna go for Mud Slap and hope we don't get one shot. I'm gonna be upset if we lose Spines here, but Mr. Mime is a threat. Okay, it went with Barrier. Do I try for a second Mud Slap? I think so. I think as long as it's using Barrier, I want to get whatever chip on it I can here. It's plus six now. I'd like to start hitting it with Water Gun, but... Well, minus three accuracy. I'm going to switch to Scramble. And I'm going to try to put it to sleep and then switch to Pew Pew Pew. Um, one second, I forgot to turn my dehumidifier off. I don't know if you can hear that, but just in case, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. This thing is just spamming barrier as if it doesn't know another move, but I don't trust that. So let's try to put it to sleep. Okay, we missed the first hypnosis. And there's the confusion. It hits, we're not going to take a second one. 
Got a tough choice here. It's at minus three accuracy. I can leave Scramble in and try again to put it to sleep. It also has been spamming barrier like nobody's business. Or I can try to sack... Mush. I'm gonna go Mush. I'm gonna go Mush. I also can go for Poison Powder if Mush survives the switch in. Okay, Confusion misses. That's huge. I'm gonna go for Poison Powder. Don't get it off. And that's gonna be it for Mush. Goodbye, Mush. Never really gave you a chance, did I? I'm gonna go pew pew pew. And hope for some, uh, fortune. We're slower. We're at 1 HP. <laughs> I don't have anything that can safely switch in on this. Um... I'm gonna go scramble and try again to dodge confusion and put it to sleep. Maybe I should have just stayed in in the first place with scramble. Okay, we dodge confusion, that's huge. It goes for barrier. It's asleep. What do I. How do I get damage on this thing? I'm gonna go to riddles and go for embers. But I'm. I'm worried here. I would have preferred that this guy have a bunch of polywag spamming hypnosis. You know what? There, I said it. Ember does- oh, well, it's a crit. I could leer, but it's just gonna spam barrier again when it wakes up, and it's a, not a good use of the sleep turns. We're chipping it down! Slowly but surely, bit by bit. We are chipping it down. And it's staying asleep. Scramble has actually been such a clutch member of the team. I feel bad for some of the things I've said about it. We just need to survive one more turn. We dodge confusion. And we beat the Mr. Mod. He still has one more Pokemon, but this was his strongest. Scramble learns Reflect. Which is something, but not what I was hoping for. A female Nidoran. Just gonna ember this. We took down a Nido Queen already. This is nothing. Yeah. Alright, and then back to the Pokemon Center. Give some of our team a well deserved rest, except the one we're saying goodbye to. Now we can find out what item Mom bought for us. We'll swap riddles to the front. And... Yeah. Bittersweet Pokemon Center trap. As the run is not over. But for someone it is. Just not for most of us. Once again. So. First things first. Mush. Parasect, we never even used you in a battle. Except that one time. Goodbye. Now let's find out what item we got. Super potion, that's not bad. Thanks, Mom. This is the kind of theft I can condone. Let's heal the survivors. And this egg. It still hasn't hatched. I mean, it probably won't for a while. I've been recording 29 minutes already. Doesn't feel like it. Alright, and we got this guy, a bird keeper, who's like a little stronger than Faulkner in the base game. So maybe he has him a champ with like eight arms or something. Let's see. <clears throat> Ace Trainer Daniel. Sent out Venonat. Okay, not that strong a start. I'm gonna just ember this. Bits of purple in its eye are interesting, again, because of Silver only having two colors, I guess. Anito Reno, we're really seeing a lot of that family on this route. 
what a route it's been. Nightmare Mr. Mime matchups. Powerful electric types that just get stonewalled by spines. And the Nito family. Wonder what this guy's gonna send out last. Let's see. Oh, we got smog. That's not very good, but maybe we'll find a use for it at some point. A mischievous! Nice! It's so cool to see super late game Pokemon like this just pop up early. Although, I really hope that side wave doesn't do much, huh? Okay, good. Two more embers will do it. Misses the Psy wave, that's huge. And it's gone. And we can get our Union Cave encounter. Could be anything. In a big old cave like this. It's... Weedle! One level from evolving. Alright. Let's see if we can just throw a ball. I'm down to catch Weedle. Beedrill any good in this game? Not especially, right? But this might be worth evolving. I don't know. Um... We'll name it... Lance. Cause it got those pointy stingers when it's fully evolved. Normally I wouldn't want to lead Magby into a hiker, but somehow I'm feeling relatively good about it this time. What do you got, buddy? Nurse Marcellus sent out... Slugma! See? Obscure late game Pokémon showing up crazy early because of the randomizer. That's what it's all about. And consistent with the pattern for hikers, we want to go to our water type here. Don't get poisoned, please. Good. That was a crit. Smog is a terrible attack. Slug my balls. Alright, that's all I had. Classic Gen 2 cave music, and here's another hiker. Or nurse, if you will. We are heading to Azalea Town, that's right. Let's see. We got a Natu. Nice. Level 4. Probably knows, like, heck. And nothing else. We don't even get to find out. Riddles is having none of that nonsense. A Togepi? Okay. Cute team so far. No metronome, disappointing. I want to see the funny chaos move. And his last Pokemon is... Nido Reno. Familiar face at this point. Nice two shot with Ember. Goodbye. Alright, I'm gonna. Give Spines a chance to farm some experience. And fight this Fire Breather. 
Now, what kind of Pokemon is a Fire Breather gonna use in this game? This guy's mad at Zubat, like so many Gen 1 players. I never really was on board with this... Elite Trainer? Okay. I never really was on board with the Zubat hate. But, I get it. Leads Pinsir, so maybe I would have been better off keeping Magby in front, but obviously I didn't know. Well, I don't think it has a fighting attack. I think I can just stomp it. Stomp the bug, yep. Nice crit. And he's gonna send in... Noctowl. Cool. Let's stomp that too. Flinch. This stomp is uh, pretty strong for this early in the game, huh? No wonder Rhyhorn is normally a late game encounter. But there, so much for that elite trainer. Sure felt the pressure of fighting an elite opponent there. Um, I think I missed an item. Yeah, because this way will take me down there. So I wanted to go down here first. Gonna be an encounter we missed out on? Nope, it's another Weedle. Okay. Another Great Ball, nice. And we can fight this uh, weird Pokemaniac guy. I think he has a slow poke in the base game. Could be anything here. Send out a Mewtwo, buddy. Do it. You won't. Gymnast Wayne. Another Zapdos. That's our third Zapdos this episode. They're just everywhere. So rare in Kanto, people have only ever found one. But in Johto, you just go to one area of the map and everybody's got one. Red should have just come here to catch it in the first place. Anyway, still no match for spines. A lot of experience. Gymnast Wayne was defeated. Yep, he looks like a gymnast. And we'll swap Pew 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 to the front. Try to keep our, all these get all these three at pretty equal levels. As usual, now I think there are items down here. <laughs> An Elected. That would have been a cool catch. But we already got our encounter in this area. Oh well. I think that's Swift, that TM. Don't think there's anything I'm motivated to teach it to right now. X defend is definitely not motivating me much. But that's okay. We still have an elite trainer to fight before we get out of here, so everybody brace yourselves for that. Still just Weedle up here. Hmm. An awakening. Not bad. One more wild Pokemon before the elite trainer. It's all just Weedle. What do you got? Another Zapdos? <laughs> Send in Zapdos, you won't. Elite Trainer Scott. Vulpix? Isn't that what he has in the base game? Did he get randomized into the same Pokemon he had all along? Or what? Well, fine with me. Almost time to fight Team Rocket. We got a hiker to fight first. Actually, and before that, we got an encounter. Let's see what we can get in this grass down here. It's... Almanite! Cool! 
I'm gonna try just throwing a ball. I don't know, I have no idea whether it's gonna work. I could try to weaken this thing with Ember, but of course, Riddles is weak to its water gun. And the Ember's really not doing anything. I could try to poison it with... Lance. I'll give that a try. Hopefully Lance takes a hit. I mean, Constrict isn't doing much to anything, yeah. Let's try to poison it. First try. It knows withdraw. Okay. See? Nice. I think I will add that to the party when we get to Azalea Town. This Pokemon from ancient times is said to have navigated the sea by adeptly twisting its ten tentacles. I don't know if I've ever trained an Omanyte in Silver version before. I probably haven't. Uh, we're gonna name it Gamer because I don't know why. That just was the first name I thought of. Um... Yeah, we'll see you later, gamer. Now let's fight this guy. I said let's fight this guy. Came through the tunnel, but he still has plenty of energy left. Alright, Nurse Daniel. You guys notice that this randomizer keeps using the same few names over and over? Daniel and Mallory and whatnot. Anyway, bad news for this golem. Appropriate pick for a hiker, though. And... Poliwag. It's trickier to deal with. I don't really have anything good for Poliwag. Do I? Let's see how much Water Gun does. Eh, it does a fair bit. Just gonna trade water attacks again like we're fighting our rival. Oh, I'm gonna have to fight my rival soon. Not in this episode, but early in the next one. And I have no idea what I'm gonna do about his Starmie. That's not a lot of fun to think about right now. But this Poliwag is pretty easy to deal with. Bet I didn't catch that Electrode, huh? Go to Azalea Town and get Gamer now. Doesn't exactly make our team well balanced, but it's a cool Pokemon. Hello, can I go into the well, please? It's unsafe to go in there. Just in there. Not safe. You are such a good Samaritan. Alright. Actually, let's go to the Mart first. We can do all our stuff in a straight line. Can I buy repels now? I can. How many can I afford? Let's start with ten. That's fine. Okay. Now... Deposit Lance and withdraw Gamer. Might see you later, Lance. We'll see. And I think I do want to train Gamer, at least for now, so I'll move it to the front of my party. Actually, let's check its moves first. Just Constrict and Withdraw. But I think it gets Water Gun soon, probably. So I'm willing to give that a try. Heal up and go uh, start things off with Team Rocket. <laughs> okay. Hello, Kurt. How are you feeling? Who am I? I'm Silver. 
I don't want you to make balls, I want you to run off the well and... Well, I was about to say hurt your back. I don't necessarily want that, but I know how you are. No give Team Rocket a lesson in pain. Prefer it be their pain instead of yours, but I guess we'll take what we can get. But don't worry, I'm here to back you up and I've brought a gamer. And we can get a Slowpoke Well Encounter while we're down here. Poor Kurt. I'll show them how gutsy I am. Alright, our first Team Rocket fight. Just fell into the well. Bad he, he didn't hurt his back, too. Let's go. Rocker Jill? <laughs> the rockets turned into rockers? That's funny. Oh my god, a kid run! <laughs> How do I beat this? I'm gonna go scramble, because it probably just has, like, water gun or something. But wait, Kingdra kind of counters my team. <laughs> oh my god, imagine if I lose to Team Rocket at my very first encounter, and that's the run. Can we try for hypnosis? Come on, gotta stand up for the slowpoke. You can do it, scramble. Land a hypnosis, please. Good scramble. Now we throw bombs. We use the funny bomb move. And hope it does big damage. That's not what that was a crit. <laughs> That's not doing big damage. Um, do I have another way to deal with this? I could go to Spines, but it's really not safe. Um, a double resist Pew Pew Pew's only attack. I think we stick with this for now. It woke up already, that's not good. That's not good. Go funny bomb move. Another crit. But only three hits. I think I'm gonna put this to sleep and switch to spines. And if it doesn't work out, well, maybe I rage quit. I don't know. Gotta land a hypnosis first. I mean, that bubble is really not doing much damage. Maybe I can just potion this up as needed. Oh, it also has water gun, right? Of course. And forget about PP stalling. Alright, Stomp is gonna do big damage, just need to get the attack off. How am I possibly gonna beat the Rebel Starmie? Is the question. Well, it's a question. Okay. Wait, why didn't I... Well, Stomp does more damage than Mud Slap, but maybe I'll end up wishing I had the accuracy drop. Stay asleep, it stays asleep! Get stomped? Gone. Okay, spine's too strong. Let's see now. Rocker Jill sent out Poliwag. Well, we know how to beat those, at least. <coughs> Maybe I should... <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe I should be training Lance instead of Gamer. Gamer is cooler, and stronger, but really doesn't round up my team's weaknesses, like Lance kinda does. Might go back and get Lance. And hey, if I don't like what comes out of the egg, I can swap Gamer back in for that. But yeah, I think I will go get Lance. Changed my mind. It can help with grass types, so I'm not fully reliant on Scramble. And, hey, if it gets Twin Needle quickly enough, maybe that's a start into... Come on. Into my rival Starmie. Uh... 
gamer, you sit tight for now. I am gonna tra start training Lance. And Lance will evolve in one level, which I believe will be our first evolution in the run, won't it? So that's exciting. Anyway. Back in we go! Are you also gonna be a rocker? Stop taking tails! Yeah, just try to defeat all of us! Says... Rocker Tristian. Here's that name again. A Marowak. Okay. Just go... Pew pew pew. Take the Bone Club. Watch out with Water Gun. Two shot with water gun. I believe she had another Pokemon. Go Trio. Wow. I'm actually gonna go Spines, because I'm a little scared of this thing. It has Pursuit! Oh no, we knew that last episode and I forgot! But okay, it didn't do that much damage. We're alright. We're okay. Not very strong coming off of a, a Dodrio special attack stat and no one dark typing. Stomp with three shot. So we'll finish it with horn attack. Goodbye, Dodrio. Sound of our starter leveling up. A couple more rockets to fight. Hopefully they don't have anything crazy. Like that Kindra. Or Slowpoke. Alright. What do you got, buddy? Quit taking Slowpoke Tails! If we obeyed you, Team Rocket's rep would be ruined! That almost sounds like something Jesse would say in the anime. We're criminals, we can't listen to you. Whoa! Alright, they got a Venusaur. These guys are running around with a level 7 Venusaur, and... They need to sell Slowpoke Tails to get by. If you say so. I thought about staying in there, but... Eh, it is one level higher than Lance and has far better stats. And it's not like it'll only have grass attacks. Anyway, nice Ember crit. Lance will evolve now. A Golem? Okay. These guys have such strong Pokemon. And they're just down here selling Slowpoke Tails. Magnitude... 9! Uh-oh! 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 Guys, I lost our starter! I lost our starter, folks! That's, uh, that's gonna forever tarnish the run. But... Got magnitude 9 again. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna use a super potion. It's minus one accuracy now, and it can't it's not gonna get magnitude 9 every time, right? Ha! Ah, only magnitude 6. That's what you get. Drop his accuracy again. Seven. We're living. Golem's gone. Watch me send out Mewtwo now. Nope, just Totodile. 
Um, well, I lost our water type. So the only mons that I've trained very much are the rock and ground type and the fire type. Execute slow. What do here? Try to poison it? No, I should have gone. I should have gone scramble into a possible water gun. Well, I didn't use water gun anyway. If I know to use scratch, I'd stay in. Has leer. Don't like that. Does he even have water gun at level nine? I'm actually not sure. Would have loved to poison it there. Crit scramble. Our two longest tenured members are gone, and I'm gonna call it it doesn't have water gun. I think I would have used it by now. Even if it does, maybe it'll miss. Okay, so far so good. Okay. Well, we're still alive, but that was a rough battle. We survived Machamp, we survived Mr. Mime, we survived Kingdra. I guess there's a silver lining with Lance evolving here, but... I lost our starter and Slowpoke well. That doesn't feel good at all. And water types are now a nightmare to deal with. I kind of think maybe I should do some... I kind of think maybe I should stop the recording and do some grinding, but... Is this our Slowpoke Well encounter? I don't think we got one yet, did we? I'll take a Pikachu! Pikachu might be just what we need right now. What did I just say about having issues with water types? Okay, it's poisoned. Give me that Pikachu. Okay. That's fine. I'm actually... Oh! No, I ran! No, I wanted to switch! If you want to click away here, I don't blame you. But we're gonna press on. I wanted to switch the spines. The Pikachu would have been so good. Oh, we've got a couple of Pokemon to release. Uh, which ones? Pew 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 and Scramble, right? Yep. Scramble. I really had hope for you toward the end there. You were you were doing a lot for not being for really being neglected when it came to training. Oh, goodbye. Pew pew pew. You were our starter. This whole journey began with you. Goodbye. Gamer, you're back in, but don't look too happy about it. It's not it's not a happy thing. And I'm going to focus... I'm actually still going to focus on training Lance because I'm afraid of the rival Starmie. In fact, after this episode, if we survive Bugsy, I might do some off-recording grinding. Just so that Starmie doesn't run right through us. Alright, things have taken a turn for the worse in a few ways here, but... We got one more rocker to deal with. Might as well throw up a repel, because can't catch anything here now. Could go get the Alex Forest encounter, but gotta fight the rival first.
interrupt at work. Don't expect any mercy. I don't want to hear it right now, buddy. Did you see what your, your, your bandmate just did? Now, this guy's got a lantern. That's another water type. And it's level 14! Guys! Guys, I think it's not good. I think it might be bad that my team is super weak to the most common type in the game. I'm just gonna try to poison this. Actually, I should probably go for String Shot. So I can hit it with Mud Slap. Because I think that's what this is gonna come to. Okay, well, it's poisoned. We don't take another bubble, but nobody on the team does, and Lance is not that important. Goodbye, Lance. I kind of want to go to Gamer. I think I will. I really don't want to sack Spines or Riddles. So if Gamer can take some hits... I guess that's for the best. Another perfect two-hit KO. I guess we'll use potions. I didn't even see any damage. Obviously it's impossible for an attack to not do any damage, but I didn't even see its HP bar drop at all from that Constrict. I don't know, why are Team Rocket so strong, and why are they in this state, given that they're so strong? Okay, we got a low roll. I think we can save a potion on this turn. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Do zero damage with Constrict again. Okay, I actually saw it move that time. Oh, because it was a crit. Of course. Do I want to grind before Bugsy at this rate? I mean, I don't want to, but do I want to? Okay, another low roll. Or maybe the first one was a high roll. So it has usually been doing only 10. Just did 11 the first time. Perfectly capable of doing 12, apparently. Goodbye, gamer. Spines, I sure hope you're faster than this thing. Hit it with that super effective mud slap. You're not faster. Folks, this run might be dead. Will we take a bubble? Oh my god. We take a bubble, we finish it off with mud slap. We don't finish it off with mud slap. I'm going to use our, super la our remaining super potion on spines and try to finish this with poison damage. It also can miss bubble, but it doesn't. Oh my god, what a nightmare slowpoke well run. I don't know what to do. I think... I think I might want to hatch the egg before... I go into the gym, because if Bugsy has a water type, I just lose at this point. You Slowpoke had better be grateful. Some core members of my team gave their lives for you. Alright, um... It's gonna give me a lure ball. Oh, that's... You know what else I can do? Well... And I'll have to take steps to do it, so we can make progress on the egg. But I can go to Violet City, Cherry Grove City, and New Bark Town, and get encounters with the Old Rod. And I was saving, going to save those for later, but I think at this point I'd better not. So, Lance, you didn't get a chance to live up to your nickname. Goodbye. And Gamer. You didn't really get a chance to live up to your nickname, either. Goodbye. I'm gonna put Riddles in front for now. This is what we have left. Riddles, Spines, and an Egg. But yeah, I am gonna double back and get some fishing encounters. And, we can work on the Egg as we go. Uh, so I think I can get encounters in Violet City, Cherry Grove City, and New Bark Town. I think they all have water. Um, so let's see if we can... Sorry, folks. Let's see if we can rebuild here. If not... 
This run might not go much longer, huh? If there's anything to talk about on the way to Violet City. Um, this episode started so light and breezy, and uh, look where we are now. But it's not over yet. I don't know what these old rod encounters are going to be. Considering that the old rod pretty much fishes up just Magikarp everywhere in this game, I don't even know whether it's going to be different encounters in different areas. I don't know if the randomizer does it that way. Maybe we'll just get like a Pidgey everywhere. We'll find out together. Could have had a Marowak. It's another ground type, but it's, you know, reasonably strong. What did I do here? I failed to catch Tentacruel, I think. Oh well. Almost to Violet City. And here's the water! Let's fish right behind the gem sign. Might as well register the uh, old rod for now. When I was a kid, I saw that abbreviation sell, and I was like, No, I don't want to sell this item! Took me some time to figure out what it meant. Our Violet City encounter is... Pichu! It's no Pikachu, but it's something. It's a start. Of course, it's going to take a while to evolve in this game, isn't it? Let's see if I can just... I kind of want to use the lure ball. But let's see if a Pokeball will do. Pichu can't have a uh, low catch rate, right? There's no way. There might be a way. I could try smog. Try to poison it. Level 10, too. This is not a bad encounter at all. Let's try to poison it. Oh, that did more damage than I expected. I'm gonna use the lure ball. I want this Pichu. Of course, Afro Balls are broken in Gen 2, right? I don't know whether the Lure Ball actually set, does what it says it does. I've never really looked into how they actually work. Broken in a bad way, I mean. But it worked! We got our Lure Ball Pichu! Ah, what should we name it? Despite its small size, it can zap even adult humans. However, if it does so, it also surprises itself. Um... Uh, I'm gonna name it Redemption, because hopefully that's what it'll be for the run. Wow, that actually perfectly fits the character limit. Alright. Just need you to survive long enough to heal. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, we're fine. Still two more fishing encounters to go, Gat. And we're gonna mo move Redemption to the front of the party. Try to get it some training. Off to Cherry Grove City. Really dragging this episode out longer than I expected, but that's okay. Not in any rush. And we'll find out whether it's just Pichu everywhere with the old rod. If I end up with three Pichu, that's not the worst thing. Maybe I'll just use all of them for a bit. Alright, Cherry Grove City. We'll fish right here. Not even a nibble. We'll fish right here. What's it gonna be?
An onyx? Alright, why not? Probably takes a mud slap, right? I wonder why they made Bind, instead of just giving rap to Onyx. I've always been a little puzzled by that one. Maybe the answer is in their Japanese names, I've never checked that. Okay, I'm gonna use Stomp to try to get down to yellow HP before I throw a ball. A Screech, that's cool. Go! Okay, that's fine. I'll try another one. This bind will probably be over soon, right? I guess I'll use another stomp if this ball fails. But there's no need. It rapidly bores through the ground at 50 miles per hour by squirming and twisting its massive, rugged body. Um... I'm gonna name this Crystal, because it was living in the water like the Crystal Onyx. Little sea serpent we fished up there. Alright, let's get a new Barktown encounter, and then... Heal up at the lab and trek all the way back to Azalea Town. With our team somewhat rebuilt. But still, not what it once was, I'd say. But, maybe we'll get something good in New Bark Town. Maybe we'll fish up a Mewtwo. And actually manage to catch it. I mean, that would be tricky if it is a Mewtwo. But, maybe we'll see. Fish right here at the top spot. Not even a nibble. Well, I'm sticking my spot. New Bark Town encounter is. Let's see. Hoot hoot. Okay. It's asleep. Oh! <laughs> so they kept treating it like it fell out of a headbutt tree. <laughs> oh, wild level 10 hoot hoot. Encountered outside of the tall grass during the day. Of course it's asleep. That's funny. Um, Hoot Hoot's not bad. It, you know, it helps cover grass types and stuff. It has a perfect sense of time also, and whatever happens, it keeps rhythm by precisely tilting its head in time. Um, I'm gonna name it Snooze. Sleepy Hoot Hoot. Alright, so the team now is Redemption, Crystal, Snooze, Spines, Riddles, and there's still an egg. I'm gonna keep Redemption in front for now because I really think we're gonna need to train this thing uh, if we're gonna survive much longer. Especially with that rival fight coming up after the Azalea Gym. But for now, back to Azalea Town. Uh, to actually fight that gem that I keep talking about. Just kind of walk through a whole bunch of the Johto region, areas that took us a while to cross before. Now are nothing to us. When that egg's gonna hatch. I feel like if it were Togepi, it would probably be about now. Or soon. But... Given that I don't know what's in there... Who's to say? 
there are Magmar out here. Not that I'm unhappy with my Mag B. I'm certainly not. But imagine if we had a Magmar. Well, hopefully we won't have to imagine for long. There's a Hitmonlee. I feel like Hitmonlee could have been good. It's just a strong Pokemon that has neutral matchups into the some into some of the stuff that's been trouble for us. But hey, I don't choose the encounters. The encounters choose me. Really manifesting this Pichu's nickname, I hope. Oh my god, so many encounters all of a sudden that we can't catch. Another Magmar. gonna be a Mag B. A Heracross? We could have had a Heracross? Amazing. But not to be. Another Mag B. Just like our girl Riddles. So she's much stronger now. Alright, back down through Violet City and Union Cave and all that, and we can finally take on the Azalea Town Gym. I hope this egg hatches before then, but I'm not confident that it will. But I really want to know what we have at this point. I mean, this is all of our Pokemon in the party right now. Anyway. Through the Zapdos Gauntlet. Down to Union Cave. Another wild Marowak. Better let me run. Yeah. Level 10 Pichu, no problem. Okay, through the Zapdos Gauntlet, also known as the Mr. Mime Gauntlet, I guess. What a run this has been already. Just gonna repel through Union Cave. Hopefully we'll survive long enough to get the Lapras encounter. I think I've decided, since this is a chill Nuzlocke, that uh, all static encounters are fair game. So I will go check that out if we survive long enough, even though I have the Union Cave encounter already. But that's a couple episodes off. Alright, we're back in Azalea Town. We're off, and into the gym. And the first thing I'm going to do now that we're in the gym is check the status of this egg. It moves around inside sometimes. It must be close to hatching. I don't know how close that is, but it sounds good. Let's fight these twins. No double battles in Gen 2, of course, so they're just going to go one at a time. They have Ludibud and Spinarak in the base game, but here they're going to have... They're still twins. That makes sense. Got to have two names for them. An Almanite. Ah, R.I.P. Gamer. But hello, Redemption. Nice crit. That withdraw isn't helping you at all. And it's gone. Nice experience. Nice Magikarp. Almanite and Magikarp. Kind of funny twin Pokemon. The fish and the uh, old fish. Ooh, nice para. Do I have quick attack or something? Nope, just Thundershock. Okay, so we just spam that.
and because it's a magic carp, we don't even level up. Thing gives like no experience. But that's okay. Let's fight this guy. Bug Pokemon are cool and tough. I'll prove it to you. Using my Zubat! My favorite bug type. You know what? Its first attack is Leech Life. It swarms stuff in caves. I can kinda get behind Zubat being a bug. I'ma let this one go. That did not do as much damage as I hoped. But as long as we keep dodging Supersonic, hey, everything's good. One more. Oh! Never mind. Don't even need it. We got the para. Too bad's gone. Strong start here for redemption. Hopefully symbolic of the future of this run. Sweet kiss. What moves do I have right now? Charm, tail whip, thunder wave. No, I don't want sweet kiss. Oh well. And here's the other best bug, Growlithe. I'm just gonna go straight to spines and hope to not be burned. Okay, that works too. I'm just gonna go straight to spines and hope to not be burned. Time for the funny mud move. Alright, I mean, I might as well keep this in. Alright, so let's tackle! That does like no damage. This thing has no attack stat, even though it's a giant boulder sea serpent. Crazy. I get the burn, just to drag it out, but I'll go for bind. Try to finish it off with passive damage. And then we'll go heal, because I don't want to let my Onyx just nurse a burn through the whole gym. I love my Pokemon more than that. Ghost Rider Jill was defeated. And a quick run back to the Pokemon Center. We're starting to look up again, I think. But we'll see. And hey, maybe that egg will hatch before I finish with the gym. That would be nice. Okay. There were what, like two bug catchers left to fight? Looks like it. You guys got grown-up Pokemon. Let's see what they are. Send out a Togepi. You won't. Okay, Gyarados is pretty grown-up. I'll give you that one. I don't think it... Uh... I don't think it has a water attack at this level. Yeah, thrash. Get wrecked. Maybe I should have just kept Pichu in, actually. This thing is, you know, kind of notoriously weak to electric attacks. But it's fine. I don't want my Pichu taking a thrash. That's even doing a lot of damage to my Rhyhorn. Redemption levels up. Spines gets a nice level up, too. We beat the Ghost Rider. Another Daniel. Why is it just using the same few names for, like, everyone? Anyway, one more Ghost Rider. Bug Pokemon are so cool. They evolve early and they're strong or something. Show me your bugs. 
three bugs. First bug is a palm. I can kind of get behind that one too. A little bit of a pest crawling around in trees and stuff. Also a cool Pokemon, Gen 2 Pokemon, that you don't typically see much in a playthrough of one of these games, so props to the randomizer again. Well, Scratch did some damage. Let's open that with KO! Okay, fine. I'm gonna heal Redemption before Boatsy, I think. Got Sand Slash. Definitely not staying in on this. Do I have anything for this? What do you know, Snooze? Mm. I'll go Crystal and try to get Bind damage on it. I don't think it has a ground attack. You notice that Crystal doesn't have a pupil in its eye? Kind of creepy. But I guess... All bets are off when you fish an onyx out of the sea. The sand attacks are annoying. But the bind damage is probably my best bet into this thing right now. Actually, I can also screech it. And if I land those, then I can go, like, hoot hoot or something, and... Or, uh, Rhyhorn, even. And, uh... Try to do some good damage from there. I'm gonna spam screech. So I'd like to be able to one-shot it if I switch to something. And the bind is adding up for now. I guess if the bind stops, I'll reconsider what to do. Oh, it has defense curl. Mm. Alright, I'll just go binds now. I'll try to stomp it to death. I think it just got its defense back up to neutral, right? I think I only landed one Screech. Dodging a sand attack is big. Stomp does decent damage. But now of course it can boost its defense. I can go back to Onyx if I end up wanting to. But this is doing enough damage for now. Obviously... Less over time. That ah, we're fine. I can scratch like nothing. Yup. Get rid of the sand slash. And now, his last Pokemon is Ariados. Cool. I'll mud slap this. Minimize the danger that it poisons me or something. It goes for Constrict, which is like the worst attack in the game. But I'll just keep mud slapping. And hey, an actual bug, by the way, in the bug gym. Imagine that. But not a very strong one. Hey, it hits every attack through the accuracy drops, though. Those eight-eyed spiders kind of broken. Alright, we'll go heal, because I don't want to gamble with Redemption's life. And then we'll fight Bugsy. And that'll be it for the episode. Been a longer one than I expected, that's for sure. But, that's Nuzlocking for you. Stuff happens sometimes. Azalea Town, Pokemon Gym Leader Bugsy, the walking bug Pokemon encyclopedia. Let's keep that in mind as we see what this trainer has for us to deal with. Some cocoons would be nice, that's for sure. I'm Bugsy. I never lose when it comes to bug Pokemon. My research is going to make me the authority on bug Pokemon. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. Okay. Dr. Tia wants to battle, of course. The Paris! That is a bug! Strong start, that is a bug! And it's a more interesting bug than Metapod. 
We'll just switch to Riddles and smack it with Ember. Try to, anyway. Come on, Riddles. Come on, Riddles. That's what I'm talking about. Two Pokemon left. Persian? Now that's my favorite, my new favorite bug. Probably nothing spines can't handle, right? Feel free to use Payday, Bugsy. Or Tia, whatever your name is. I think that Payday would be really devastating right now into this rock type of mine. I don't know if you have it at this level. It knows, it knows Bite! Oh, I didn't think of that. It's not doing too much damage, though. We're getting nice accuracy drops. I say nice accuracy drops. They haven't actually accomplished much in the entire video, have they? Well, there we go, that's a start. That's more like it. Come on. I swear these mud slaps are starting to do less damage. Okay. I'll think about this. I'll use a potion. Let's see. Good, nice miss. Minus five accuracy. I'm just gonna switch to stomp now. Good. See, that's more like it. All those bite misses. Persian's gone. And that just leaves... Togetic. Cool. Let's growl. Togetic is not the least powerful. It knows metronome! Oh no, okay, Thunderbolt, good. I kind of want to switch to someone more expendable than Spines, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm going to go Crystal because it's straight up more expendable than Spines. I also could go Redemption and get off the super effective Thundershocks for uh, experience, but... Crystal will take that Vice Grip like a champ. I actually, that actually did three damage, that's crazy. Onyx is terrible. <laughs> Uh, the Growl is going to reduce the already pretty pathetic damage, but it won't reduce the residual damage from Bind. Metronome into Sleep Powder. Alright. Well. Wake up soon, please. Metronome into... Icy Wind! It's super effective, oh no. Oh my god! Onyx is the worst Pokemon in the game. <sighs> I'm gonna go Redemption here and hope for the best. Really manifesting that nickname. Let's go, buddy. Big damage. That is not big damage at all. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna Thunder Wave it. Try to get some hacks. If not big damage... Let's go for hacks. Mega Punch? You can't be serious. I think I'm gonna wipe against the rival now. I'm probably gonna do some grinding off camera. I'm gonna go snooze because relatively expendable. That's the level I'm operating on right now. I was gonna switch. I was gonna switch um, Redemption out after the Thunder Wave. If it had just not drawn that Mega Punch that turn, I'd still have a Pichu. Okay, now it gets Thunder Shock into my Hoot Hoot. That does a lot of damage. 
We're gonna stay in and sack this, probably. Poison Sting. Doesn't poison. Nice crit. Please just get, like... Yeah, safeguard. Thank you. You were past due for something like that. Now he's about to get Arrow Blast. Nightshade. Okay. That's fine. Come on, snooze. Finally a full para. So we've had Machamp, and now Togetic. Just... Okay, good. Poison Gas Miss. Just nightmare matchups, two gem leaders in a row. Might be out of Metronome PP now. We can only hope. We can only hope it's out of PP. And these tackles are gonna slowly, very slowly, whittle it down through the attack drops. left to do now. Alright, and we beat Boatsy. Or Tia. Whatever. <sighs> a win is a win, but yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that rival battle. I might have to find out what's in the egg first. Okay. Yeah, I... Thanks, Bugsy. Persian is my favorite bug, and Togertic is now at the bottom of my bug tier list. That thing was a nightmare. So what? let's see the damage. We lost Pichu, and we lost Onyx. One I care about a lot, one not as much. But yeah, I'll figure out what I'm going to do for the next episode, and we'll be back then. But for now, that's it. I hope you had fun on the roller coaster that is this Nuzlocke. Um, that's all I got. Bye for now.